With 5G Release 15 setting the 5G foundation, Releases 16 and 17 build on it and expand. Release 16 is the second set of 5G standards, and it was completed last year. You may have heard us talk about how Release 16 is the first step in the 5G evolution, as it enabled 5G to expand from mobile broadband to new devices, services, and vertical industries. Whether we're talking about all the devices in the home or enabling the most mobile workforce we've ever seen, an innovation area that everyone cares about is power and mobility. Release 16 brought new features like wake-up signals, more robust mobility, faster carrier aggregation, and dual connectivity to further improve device performance and coverage. Our recently announced 5G modem to RF system, the Snapdragon X65, can already support some of the Release 16 power enhancement features. 5G can also provide additional capabilities beyond data communications. One of those is high precision positioning. Release 16 brings 5G positioning that works well in both outdoor and indoor environments. It complements GNSS satellite-based positioning for use cases like public safety, automotive and smartphones, and we prototype different deployment scenarios. With machine learning-based 5G high precision positioning, 5G can also enable new indoor use cases that even have more stringent accuracy requirements, such as tracking the location of an AGV. Our industrial IoT wireless testbed recently demonstrated that our design meets the release 17 centimeter level accuracy requirements. Sidelink is another mode of communication that's beneficial for diverse use cases. And in release 16, Sidelink focused on automotive applications. 5G V to X communications allowed vehicles to talk directly to other vehicles and also devices such as roadside units. One of our demonstrations illustrated how 5G V to X can complement wide area 5G for advanced applications like navigation with high resolution 3D maps. It also shows the potential for robust V to X communication between vehicles in situations when satellite signals become too weak or unavailable such as in parking garages or warehouses. For vertical industries, Release 16 also enhances 5G's mission-critical design, and we are demonstrating key research that enables the wireless factory of the future. Our enhanced OTA testbed now implements ultra-reliable communications with multiple transmission and reception points coordinating transmission in both the uplink and the downlink directions. The demonstration also includes wireless Ethernet with time-sensitive networking and microsecond-level synchronization, and 5G sidelink for direct communications between factory devices, all using the Qualcomm 5G robotics and mobile test platforms. This newly added OTA sidelink capability can significantly enhance network capacity and reliability in an industrial IoT network. We also have a new end-to-end -end system simulation showcasing how 5G millimeter wave can be applied effectively for industrial IoT. At Qualcomm, we are always looking for ways to make 5G more efficient and to expand into new use cases. And that's where new deployment models come in. We've been working on 5G private networks to expand the reach of 5G to new markets such as warehouses, transportation logistics centers, and large enterprises. We've also driven the technology systems design for integrated access and backhaul to efficiently expand 5G millimeter wave and deploy cells where wired backhaul is not available. And finally, in release 16, we also opened up the 5G opportunity for unlicensed spectrum. This expansion enables 5G deployments to ledger spectrum resources around the world. In addition to the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz global unlicensed bands, there is now also the 6 gigahertz band that can be used for both 5G and Wi-Fi. With this, 5G can use unlicensed spectrum to complement licensed deployments or for standalone networks, providing more spectrum options for both operators and new 5G private networks.